Hello and welcome. This uh, video here is actually more of a video of how things don't always go exactly how you'd like them to. What I was attempting to do here was to test the theory of using frequencies through an amplifier to try and generate hydrogen from a cell. Um, I did actually get some interesting results. Um, unfortunately, my amp that I was using over here was starting to put off some smoke, so I've stopped doing the tests and um, luckily my amp is still working but I'm not going to do any more so I'm just going to tell you what happened. Um, the amp itself is a 200 watt amp uh, which is probably putting it at about, about 50 uh, on the one speaker lead that I was connecting up to the cell here. Um, I was using this computer to generate different frequencies uh, from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz which is what we can hear and I was also testing different types of waves from a, um, I don't know if you can see that or not from a standard sine wave, square wave, a sawtooth wave, a triangle wave, uh, white noise and pink noise. Now what I noticed was that I didn't get any response from any frequencies out of the cell except for um, 20 hertz on either a sine wave or a square wave. Um, I also got a little bit of reaction from pink noise but I didn't get any other reaction from the other waves or from any other frequencies except for 20 hertz and the cell actually did put off a bit of hydrogen. I wish I could show you but as I said I don't want to damaged my, um, my amplifier. Um, I don't plan on giving up on this altogether. I just need to get hold of a, a better amp that is able to produce um, more power without causing any damage, such as a, a musical uh, guitar, you know, for an amp, for, for a guitar or whatever else, you know, something decent. So, um, yeah, stay tuned and hopefully I'll have some more news. Thanks.